六名议员对刑事法典修正案提出看法。五吉巴都区议员穆仁礼认为，应该考虑调高罪犯接受鞭刑的年龄限制。I also wish to highlight an unintended consequence of maintaining the age of 50 as the cutoff age. A repeat offender over 50 may get potentially a less deterrent sentence. Even after taking into account that he may get an additional term of imprisonment of up to 12 months in lieu of caning, our assessment is there is no reason to raise the age limit. The proportion or number of men over the age of 50 arrested for serious offences that attract caning are significantly lower compared to men under the age of 50. Raising the age limit by itself may not stop the problem because when you shift the line. The problem may also shift. Let me. 有议员提议设立一份性犯罪者名单，以确保他们不能在一些特定场所工作。Can the ministry consider some form of registry or self-declaration such that convicted offenders of sexual offences will not be able to work in situations where they will be exposed to the vulnerable? The police already maintain a non-public record of persons convicted of serious offences, including sexual offences. Agencies like MOE, MSF work closely with the police to screen prospective employees applying for jobs working with children, such as those in licensed preschools and schools. 部长也透露，政府正在检讨是否要强制规定同小孩有接触的工作领域，所有员工都需要接受审查。然而，这个做法存在一些实际操作困难，因此当局还需慎重考虑。